Calm down, TV. Calm down before we shut this down. Hit that subscribe button. Now, um, let's kind of draw a timeline with your project, projects. Because mm -hmm. uh, after you dropped, uh, released The Beast, what came next? Was it uh, The Beauty and The Beast? No, it was Love Kills after that. Oh, The Beast and The Beauty, right? Anyway, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, Love Kills. Yeah. All right, so you had Love Kills. Then what else after that? Then it was The Beast and The Beauty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um... Tell me about that project. The Beast and the Beauty? Yeah. Um, so that was like, um, I wanted to keep like, sort of kind of like the Beast sequence thing. Project, yeah. yeah, like sequence thing. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to like, I wanted to be different. So like, that was my whole point. And like, my brother had actually came up with the name. Um, he was like, what about like, he like everybody know the beauty and the bees. What about the beast and the beauty? And ever since the day he said it, he was like, but that's just an idea. Ever since the day he said it, I'm like, no, I like that. Like that's wrong with that. So when we ran with it, it was like it's only my stylist. She was like, it's only right we put you in a bell dress. You know what I mean? So that's how like the cover mm -hmm. and you know the feel like the the whole feel of the project. I was to give the beast and like the beauty, like the emotional part of me too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the the title track, The Beast and the Beauty, sounds the way it does, and that's why, you know, you get a, you get basically the same sound on the project, but, mm. you know, it's a different little feel, right. you know what I'm saying, right. yeah. Um, you mentioned your brother, and then one of your uh, tracks, you said, my brother dazed me, we was fighting in the yard. <laughs> 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 who they want, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the who they want, y'all gotta go check out the who they want. Uh, yes. So, but uh, tell me uh, about your great relationship with your brother. Okay, so I got five brothers, okay. but um, on that particular part, I was talking about my big brother Jordan. Um, <laughs> growing up, like they like, I Are always you girl? Been, no, I'm the youngest though. Okay. It's eight of us. I'm the youngest girl. Well, I'm the youngest period, okay. but it's eight of us, five boys, three girls. Okay. Um, but like coming up, I always been like a boy, like a tomboy. Okay. I never hung with my sisters when I was little. Yeah. I always hung with my brothers. Like, my sisters just wanted to talk about boys. I wanted to go play manhunt. I wanted to just learn how to shoot some dice, box gloves, you know what I'm saying? But my brother always, like, we always fought. Like, and he just, it, when I was little, like, I used to tell my brother, like, you hate me. Like, why you hate me? He used to be like, I don't hate you. I just want to make sure that you ain't no punk. You feel me? So, to this day, I get it now. You know what I'm saying? But when I was little, I didn't understand. So, he always, we always used to fight. Like, from the time we seen each other, like my grandmama used to be, sit y'all ass down. Mm -hmm. But it was this one day we was fighting in the dark and he hit me. This was the first time I ever got hit in my eye. Mm -hmm. I was like 12, <laughs> nigga. I didn't believe I you. Nigga, I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm telling you. I was like 12, we in a, we in a room fighting, like for whatever reason, no reason probably. And he stuck me, boom. He hit me so hard in my eye, I thought my shit was black. I ran straight to the bathroom, I looked in the mirror, my eye went black. I said, all right, cool. I ran straight back in the room, blah, blah, blah. And so that's, that's what I was talking about on that part, man. He hit me so damn hard that day, but yeah. <laughs> It's all love. Yeah, do they, uh, any of your siblings do music at all? Uh, yeah. T well, they don't do it for real. Oh, um, but yeah. two of my big brothers rap. Yeah. My oldest brother, Sean, Free Sean, he rap. Um, and my other brother, Zell, Free Zelly, he rap too. Um, they, f they don't really do it like that, you know. Like, they really can't because they in jail. Right. You know, my big brother in the feds, that one in the pen. Mm -hmm. But, um, I feel like, I feel like, my oldest brother is better than me, yeah. but he feel like I'm better than him. Mm. Um, but when it comes to like certain shit, I do know he's better. Like when it comes to like, he don't write it all. Uh -huh. So like he's a freestyler. So if it comes to like freestyling, like he gone, yeah. he gonna eat some shit. But he, like I said, I feel like he better than me. I'm his favorite rapper, he mine. But like other than that, like none of my siblings really like, my sister, she can rap too. One of my oldest, my oldest sister, she can rap, but she don't really do it. We yeah. dropped the song when I was like 14 called No Trust. And she was on there. Like, I don't think it's out nowhere. I think we had pulled it down for like copyright issues oh, okay. and shit years ago. But I'm trying, I've been trying to find the song because the song is still like hard as hell. But I'm really the only one that do it. If we was to hop in the car with Triple Play Squee, what are we gonna hear? You're gonna hear a lot of unreleased music. Okay. You're gonna hear. I've been listening to a lot of Pop Smoke. Like, his album was, like, damn good. Like, yeah. I feel bad because, like, well, I ain't gonna say I feel bad because I really didn't know of him until, like, January when I 
visited New York for my birthday. That was my first time hearing him. Oh, so of course that was like a couple months before he passed. Mm -hmm. But like his album is like damn good. Like and I hate that you know shit played out like that. But at least you know his people straight. But I listen to a lot of Pop Smoke. Um, I've been listening to Tusi. I think I'm saying his name right. Tusi, the one yeah. who sing Love Cycle. Oh, I can't say the song for sure. I I just heard of the artist. Yeah, yeah, him. So I think I'm saying his name right. I've been listening to a lot of him. Um, Pooh Shiesty. Yes, I sir. love Pooh Shiesty. Oh, yes, um, <laughs> you gonna hear a lot of Pooh Shiesty, Big Thirty in the car. Um, what else I've been listening to? Sometimes I listen to like the same stuff. Money Bag. Um, Is there any uh, artist from Memphis that you had a chance to work with or want to? Um, no, actually, I have not worked with anyone from Memphis. I don't believe. Yeah. No, but it is. So you are hours, girl. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> I don't think I work with anybody from Memphis, though. Mm -mm. Um, we still in y'all. Really, though, we like, <laughs> you funny. Really, though, like, I really, really honestly just got into doing, like, features. Okay. Um, like, honestly. Yeah. Because I rap, rap. Yeah. So it's like, it's not like nothing like personal. I just, I just always been the type like shit. I don't even need no feature, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? I like other people music, and you know it's the networking. You know, touching in the fan base. Yeah. You know, but um, really, that's that's a lot. They got a lot to do with why I don't have that many features because I've just got into doing them. Yeah. I'm just so used to just rapping, rapping a whole song. You yeah. know, like ooh, I like the beat. I'm gonna keep going on that bitch. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But so just that's for. And I guess for you can do right, like you know, right. Just, I mean, you write a song, you know. Yeah, like, you write a, write a song, song, yeah, like, like yeah, cool, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I try not to get too much into doing it because I feel like that'll make somebody lazy. Mm. Like, you know mm. what I'm saying? Because like you can, you can have a good verse, but ha can you like make me rock with you by yourself on the whole mm. song? That's my thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, True. yeah. Oh, uh, when it comes to uh, artists that may get songs written for them, do you feel like What's your opinion on that? Like, are they in the conversation of the greats or the the best? I'm gonna put it like this. Um, I look at it as if you don't, if you don't write any of your music, you're not a rapper. You're an entertainer. Mm -hmm. um, now, when it comes down to okay, I'm gonna be honest. I write a hundred percent of my music, but I know some of the greats have had multiple people write different songs like you know yeah. what i'm saying and they didn't pop now if somebody come to me with a great idea like hey let's collab i got this if i feel like that bitch gonna hit then guess what we finna hit we finna get rich you feel <laughs> me but like um like if somebody write all your shit then now nah, you're not you're not a rapper you're an entertainer at that point okay. now perform you had a chance to perform right mm -hmm. what's uh, your favorite song to perform right now oh right now it's funky gotta be Funky is my favorite song to perform right What's now. What's the crowd reaction? Oh, they go crazy. Yeah. Last time I performed that shit, and it was shocking. Um, Because yeah. people always know my music, but Funky, it was like they was worried for wording that shit. Yeah. Like, and it felt good, too. Like, wow. I, I barely even had, like, had to sing the song. Like, when I put the mic down, motherfuckers just like, it's Funky. I'm like, <laughs> wow, okay. So somebody been studying them lyrics over yeah. quarantine. You feel me? So, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely my favorite song to perform right now. You got maybe a dream stage to perform on? Um, like the Coachella, the yeah. T um, a stadium somewhere? Yeah, definitely. A couple of them, actually. Um, okay, so I got a project that's coming out right in the, on the, the cover is, I don't know if you know, but it's a, a auditorium in Memphis. It's called the Orpheum. Not familiar, but okay. Okay, but it's it's like it's Memphis. So okay. on the cup that's on the cover. So um it play in with the title or whatever like that. But um I really feel like it's manifesting too because the dude my guy who makes like I have two graphic designers, mm -hmm. Lee's and Mel. Shout out to both of them. Um, but Mel, he from Memphis too, so he know like the history. And yeah. when I came to him with my idea, he's like, cool, we're going to do it like this, you know. So I really feel like it's a manifestation thing yeah. that one day I'm going to sell the Orpheum out, you know, um, with my name on this shit. So that's definitely like one of them and one of the biggest ones just because of my roots, you know, right. for sure. If uh, 
fan is watching this interview and they got time to watch a video, one video, or listen to one song. Well, now we know they gotta check out Funky outside gotta check out of Funky. funky. <laughs> outside of Funky, well, or even a body of work. What's something that you feel like they need to go check out? So you feel me? Did a real good feel. The Beast and the Beauty. Okay. Go tap into the whole Beast and the Beauty because you're gonna get a little bit of this. You're gonna give it a little bit of that. You know what I'm saying? So. Even if, you know, you don't rock with all of it, it's something on there you're going to fuck with and you're going to fuck with it tough. Okay. Um, but you should rock with all of it, though. You <laughs> is, it, uh, is the BB4L on there? Or is that no, single? that was just a single that I dropped on for, for the 4th of July. Okay. Now, uh, what's the BB4L stand for? Boss bitch. Boss bitch for life. Yeah. <laughs> That was motivation behind that one. Uh, really, um, the beat was so unique. Mm -hmm. Um, and because of the the beat was, is is what controlled everything. That okay. controlled the drop. It controlled the cover. It controlled the lyrics. Um, I dropped it around the Fourth of July because either I was gonna use it then or I wasn't gonna be able to use it at all just because of the sound of the beat. Wow. You know what I mean? You know the trumpets and all that. Oh. But really, it was just the thing like, you know. I just wanted women to feel like, like no matter who you are, like just, just own it, like know that you are that bitch. Yeah. You feel me? Like you're a boss, you know. So it was just something that was elevating because I've been seeing a lot of women push. I've been seeing a lot of get women get their money up, yeah. like, and I love to see it. So it was just something like, you know. I ain't gonna say like it was a motivational song, but it was a song that I wanted to put out for my, that it was strictly for my ladies. Like I told all my guys, like I said, look, you probably won't listen to this song, <laughs> but your gal gonna listen to it. You feel me? Yeah. But like, so it was just strict, strictly something for my ladies just to make them feel like, you know, that they that really. Oh, for life, for life. No. For life, for life. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on a little bit. Um, what can the fans, other than you said you got a project coming up, uh, what can the fans be expecting from Trip Place Week uh, in the near future? A whole lot of heat. You I'm said you shoot a video yesterday, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. I did. I shot a video yesterday for an unreleased track I got called City on Lock. Mm -hmm. um, it's going on my next project that's releasing soon, probably like a month. Okay. Um, but... I got that coming out. I got a bunch of videos that's gonna drop. Like we've been working, working, and I'm just gonna like, I've been working now, but I'm really gonna be like working, working, working. Yeah. So I got that coming up. I got some a dope album dropping at the beginning of the year. Okay. Um, the album that's dropping at the beginning of the year is something that nobody's heard. Don't tell them yet. Don't tell like, them. Like I ain't gonna tell them too much, we but it's deserve. something that they ain't heard. We don't you feel me? So <laughs> it's something that, that that nobody's heard. So like you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was even different for me, but the process is I'm enjoying it. But yeah. yeah. What's your uh, social media? What can people follow you and stuff like that? On um, Instagram I can be followed at triple play squeak. Squeak is S Q U E E K. Um Facebook, Triple Play Squeak. Twitter, they hating on me. They won't give me that one more character. So it's B M E Triple Play. <laughs> um, make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube Triple Play Squeak and just you know tap in with the kid. Mm -hmm. When you were um, since since you like to go back to Memphis, what's one thing that you gotta do or have? Or it's like a little food you gotta go get when mm -hmm. you're in Memphis. Like what's what's on, what's that food or what's that place? Or, it's a couple of them. So when I go to Memphis, like my diet is like strictly off. I'm like not eating like I'm supposed to at all. But like one of the things that I have to have is Dixie Queen. <laughs> gotta go to Dixie Queen. Okay. For two, I gotta go to Topps Barbecue. Like you gotta slide through there. Um also for dessert, Craves dessert that's located in Memphis too. Bomb. Okay. Gotta check that out too. Dixie Queen boy, that's I like, always been Memphis a few times. The best. You gotta have it. They lying like if I right, people that ain't been down there, if I seen Chick fil A lying. <laughs> I ain't got nothing on Dixie Queen. Like I'm telling you, niggas is rolling up and everything. And that's every <laughs> Dixie Queen location. It's not just one or two, like you might as well just pull in a line you at this one well. because if you leave and go to the other one it's gonna be the it's same. It's gonna be worse. Literally. They be bagged up all in the street. <laughs> My last trip 
it was so bad we didn't even get to get none because it was so we was just like we did it. Well, yeah. they I wanted to stand in line. Yeah, <laughs> that's one. That's like probably the only place besides Chick Fil A, but Chick Fil A move real fast. Yeah. But Dixie Queen is probably the only place that I will sit. I probably like last time I was down there. It's sad, but I sat in that line for like an hour. I was just sitting there chilling on my phone, but it was the food was so worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. So for sure, Dixie Queen tops craze for dessert and All Star Wings is real good too. So this just some pointers for y'all. Y'all touch down in my city. <laughs> uh, well, I know you got a lot going on. I ain't gonna hold you. Any message to the fans or just shout outs you want to give? Um, I want to shout out to everybody that fuck with me. You know, everybody that's been down with me for since day one. I'm getting better. We only gonna get better. My team getting better. Um, so just expect a lot of heat. I'm working on myself, you know. So that's really it. Okay. I want to shout out Calm Down TV too, though. You know, uh, for getting the kid up in there, fucking with the kid. Yeah, you know, he been riding with the kid for a while. So yeah. Well, yeah. Calm Down TV, Triple Play Squeak. Y'all go watch that funky video right now. now right now. Like, Subscribe to my YouTube too. That part. And y'all subscribe to mine too. We out. Hey y'all, it's Triple Play Squeak and I'm tapped in with Calm Down TV. Calm down before we shut this bitch down.